All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to seven. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out five to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have five to the power of, oops, sorry. Five to the power of x times one plus one is equal to seven. One plus one is two, so I have five to the power of x times two is equal to seven. Now I can divide both sides by two, so I get Phi to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log phi to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is, I can actually move my x to b here to the front. So I get b times log a. So in this case, I have log phi to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I get x times log five is equal to log seven over two. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log seven over two, That's going to equal log 7 minus log 2. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 7 minus log two over log five. So log of seven here, this is equal to 0 0.8451. Log two, this is equal to 0 0.3010. And finally, log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I'm going to have x is equal to log 7 minus log 2, so 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3010 all over 0 0.6990 meaning x is equal to 0 0.5441. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x plus 16. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ln or natural log on both sides. So now I have ln x to the power of x is equal to ln of 4 to the power of x plus 16. Now if I have something, uh, if I take the ln of something in the form a to the power of b, and I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x. I can move x to the front, and ln 4 to the power of x plus 16. I can move x plus 16 to the front. So now I have x times ln x is equal to x plus 16 times ln 4. Now if I distribute the ln 4, I get x times ln 4 plus 16 times ln 4. Now if I subtract x times ln 4 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x times ln x minus x times ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4. Now I can go ahead and factor out x from here, so I get x times ln x minus ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4.
Now ln x minus ln 4, that's simply equal to ln x over 4. So I have this is equal to 16 times ln 4. And now this is essentially saying that x over 4 is equal to 4 over here. These two are equal to each other. So if x over 4 is equal to 4, this means that x is equal to 16, because these two have to match up as well. So now to check, let me plug this in over here. So if I plug in 16 over here, I get 16, because x over here, 16 times ln, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So I get 16 times ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4. So this works. Now for method 2, sorry, a method 2 for to check. I have x to the power of x equals 4 to the power of x plus 16. x equals 16, so I have 16 to the power of 16 is equal to 4 to the power of 32. 16 is 4 squared, so I have 4 squared to the power of 16 is equal to 4 to the power of 32, meaning 4 to the power of 32 is equal to 4 to the power of 32. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. So to solve this problem, I obviously want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And now I'm going to write 2048 here as 2 times 1024. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, a is 2, m is 2, and n is 1024. So if I rewrite this in this form, I get 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1024. And remember, this is equal to x to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 2, and that's equal to 4. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. Now, I'm going to repeat what I did just did again. So 1024, that's equal to 2 times 512. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 512. And again, this is equal to x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 512. 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 512. Now 512 I can rewrite as 256 times 2. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 2 times 256. Now this, I'm going to do the same thing again. So I have 16 to the power of 2 to the power of 256. And 16 to the power of 2, that's equal to 256. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 256 to the power of 256. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x is equal to 256. And to test this, I'm going to plug this in. So I have 256 in for x. So I have 256 to the power of 256 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And remember, we just wrote all of this, so we know that 2 to the power of 2048 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. All right, so 
In this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. So the variable I want to find the value to in this equation is x. And for my solution, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 4 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. However, m and n are interchangeable, meaning this can also be written as a to the power of n to the times m. Now, if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this should be equal to a to the power of n to the power of n. So x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4. In this, I can think of x to the power of 4 as m and 4 as n. So this turns into x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now 64 to the power of 4 I can rewrite as 8 squared to the power of 4, which turns into 8 to the power of 8. Now, if I have something from a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a equals b. So in this case, x to the power of 4 is equal to 8. And to solve for x, I'm going to take the fourth root on both sides. So I get x is equal to positive or negative fourth root of 8.